You're watching Sub 150, the show that teaches you stuff in 150 seconds or less. In this third part of my Premiere Pro Crash Course, I'm going to show you how to perform a rough cut edit. Let's begin by creating a new sequence. We'll go down to the bottom left tab here, the project window, and we're going to right click inside of it and select new item sequence. Don't fuss over choosing a sequence preset. We're going to worry about that in a minute. Enter your sequence name and press OK. Now we'll open our video bin and to make it easier to work with we're going to drag it into our bottom set of tabs like so. Now we've got several shots to work with. Shots 1 through 4 are the first shots that we're going to cut and put into our timeline. I'll begin by double clicking on shot 1 and it will load up in our source viewer. We're going to use the playhead down here to scrub through the clip and find roughly where it starts. Now I'm going to press the space bar or play right here to play through the clip. Welcome to that was just about right. I'll move back here and I'll mark this as my in point. To mark my in point, I click on this bracket or I use the keyboard shortcut I. Now we'll find my out point. I'll just scrub through quickly, find roughly the point where I turn. I know I'm not speaking there, so that's good enough for me. I'm going to mark this as my out point by clicking on the out bracket or clicking O. Now make sure that we have the selection tool active. Click on the clip up here and drag it into the timeline, putting it on V1 and let go. Don't be alarmed when you get this clip mismatch warning. What we're going to do here is click to change the sequence settings so they match the video that we've brought in. This will speed up our render times. Now I've already marked shots 2, 3, and 4 to save time. But I'll get you to do that right now and then you'll put them into the timeline and they'll snap up against your last clip. The timeline's pretty small and it's very hard to see what's going on so I'm going to go down to the bottom corner here click on this handlebar and pull it to the left and that will increase my view. I can also increase the view of my waveform by going over to the side here under A1 and scrolling my middle mouse wheel up. Alright, we've made a rough cut. We'll continue next time by learning more about the ripple and rolling edit tools to refine our cuts in the timeline. You can click here to watch that video.